Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our official review of the Dyson Gen 5 Detect and Gen 5 Outsize cordless vacuums. They represent Dyson's most advanced cordless vacuums yet, and after testing them both thoroughly this week, I was really impressed. But because there are so many similarities between the two, I thought it would be best to do one combined review to save time, and just point out where they differ along the way to help you decide which one of these, if any, are right for you. So links in the description, and let's get started. Both of these vacuums sell at the top end of the price spectrum, though the Gen 5 Outsize costs about 10% more than the Gen 5 Detect. Starting with the features that they have in common, they both come with a very similar attachment set, which we'll talk more about later. They both use the same fifth generation of the hyperdymium suction motor. They both have Dyson's new HEPA filter media, which filters smaller particles than previous generations, making their already top-of-the-line sealed filtration systems even better. They both have the same incredible electronic suite, mostly based around the internal particle counter, which makes possible their auto-suction adjustment feature. So when it's on auto mode, it will adjust the suction power automatically, based on how dirty the floor is, which optimizes Optimizes the performance. They both have an LCD screen which shows alerts as well as real-time battery life numbers which change depending on which attachment you're using and which power level you're on and it's extremely useful. It also shows on the screen in real time the number and size of particles that you are vacuuming up, something I don't find particularly useful, but they already have a particle counter installed in the vacuum. I guess you might as well get the most use out of it. They both now have an on-off button instead of a trigger like on previous generations. I think I prefer the on-off button where the pro is that you don't have to constantly hold the trigger down. The only con I can think of is that I was more likely to keep the vacuum running when moving from room to room, which is a little bit more wasteful of battery life. Speaking of battery life, they use the exact same battery, which Dyson now rates at 70 minutes on low power for both, which is one of, if not the best battery specs in the industry given their power output. The Gen 5 Outsize does come with an extra battery and an extra charger, which is why they double the battery life numbers in that case. Moving on to the attachments, the tool set will vary slightly depending on where you buy it, but they both include, for example, the motorized screw tool, which is an upholstery cleaner designed to not get tangled with pretty much anything, which is well designed and does work extremely well. They both come with a combo brush tool, which is one of my favorite suction-only attachments, mainly because you can use the longer bristles for dusting, though I will say that using these Dysons for handheld tasks is definitely not easy, because there's so much weight on your wrist and it's just kind of awkward, which is why I recommend getting a hose attachment, usually sold separately with these Dysons, so that you can actually make use of that excellent dusting brush. They also have a new feature, which is a built-in brush and crevice combo tool, which you can access by pushing two red buttons on the wand. The idea is that you no longer have to carry around attachments for quick handheld jobs. They both come with two different floor heads, the motor bar and the fluffy optic cleaner head. The fluffy optic head with a little green laser on it is a much more interesting feature than I've previously given Dyson credit for. I think it might be because the light is brighter than it was on the V15 that I'm noticing it more. In any case, it's not simply that the light shines on the debris, it's the specialized angle of the laser that makes the dust show up the way it does. And I have to say, I've never believed that my floors were as dirty as this feature revealed them to be. And because the roller is so good at at dusting floors, it really seems like my hard floors have never been this clean. The one downside is that if you are a clean freak, it will probably make you a little crazy. The outsize model comes with a much larger version of the motor bar called the Motor Bar XL, and it's one of the big differences between the two that really matter. And it's also a good time to move on to performance. The idea, of course, is that by having a wider floor head, you can cover more area with fewer passes. And while that's true, I found that the larger width did seem to negatively affect its performance, presumably because the suction on the Motobar XL is distributed over a larger area and so is less concentrated. So it didn't seem to do as well with things like the unsealed suction test, where we measure how much real-world suction is available at the head. It still performed significantly better than average, but it wasn't as good in that respect as the Gen 5 Detect. The reason I suspect the head is the problem on the outsize is that our own sealed suction test results, both versions have the same suction power at the base, which is way above average, by the way. 
The larger head on the outsides probably also contributed to it performing a little worse on our carpet deep clean test as well. But again, these numbers are much better than average. As far as surface debris pickup, both floor heads performed as good as you would expect a Dyson to perform. The motor bars, which as I said, are able to vacuum both hard floors and carpets. The soft rollers, which are made for hard floors, but can be used on very light duty jobs on carpets, did exceptional with fine to extra large debris, even piles of debris and pet hair. Really, they are very good with hard floors no matter what you're trying to pick up. They both have active hair removal systems on the motor bar head, which uses little plastic comb-like structures which remove the hair as you vacuum. We tested this with 7 and 14 inch hair and it did almost perfectly and it really should cut down on the need for regular maintenance. The outsize has a much bigger bin which can hold 1900 milliliters to only 750 on the Gen 5 Detect, but it comes at a cost of being both heavier and less ergonomic overall. Both of these products represent the state of the art in cordless vacuum technology. However, the lighter weight, better performance on the regular sized head, and cheaper price put the Gen 5 Detect in the top spot over the Gen 5 outsize, and it's the first time in a long time that I decided to keep a cordless vacuum as my primary vacuum at my house. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.